Hello, hello everyone. Happy Tuesday. I hope you all had an amazing weekend. We had quite a busy one here. Lots of kids going around, finalising a class, um, filming videos, editing documents, all fun and games here. So hello, hello. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Ellen Woodbridge and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia with a funky curl. <laughs> hey Monica, how are you? So thank you so much for joining me on my Facebook Live today. Um, I will be putting up a replay on YouTube later tonight. Um, hey Beryl, hey Corinne. So um I do real time card making videos and today I am playing with Cheerful Daisies. So I finalised my class for Cheerful Daisies this morning. So that has just been finalised. Hey Margaret. And I almost have the email ready to send out to everyone. Sorry, just getting my replay screen up here. I am the only tech help here. So I've just got to turn my head for a second and do it. So my latest class is Cheerful Daisies. And I have actually made a lot of cards using Cheerful Daisies. So I went through my card stash, which lives just over my shoulder there. And I kept on grabbing out cards and went, hmm, I've had a bit of fun with this, but I was still able to create a class because I had so many ideas. So I only have one piece left over from my class. Hey, Jody. Hey, Candy. Uh, hey, Ruth. So I only have one thing left over and it's actually a piece I don't like. Hey, Delinda. So I actually need your guys' help today. This is the piece that I created. I have threatened for it to go in the bin numerous times because I'm really not in love with it. I am really, really going to try and make it work today. I, I will show you what I ended up making. So from this piece, and it was going on to this card which is in my class so you can see how this is made step by step in the class um, I do have a video and a project sheet that's available and the class is ten dollars so ten dollars yeah I know Jody. if it ends up in the bin hey I'm totally fine with it but I want to give it a last ditch effort talk to my brains trust I'll tell you why I don't like it um, and see if we can do anything with it. And I also have heaps of these pieces left over. So these went out. I'm just going to try and find the original card here. These went out as my customer card. So I've got heaps of these uh, bases left. So I, I just don't know what we're going to do today. I've also got out my dies. I have out my Fresh as a Daisy designer series paper. A lot of it I have already used, but we do have uh, bits and bobs left. We do have full sheets, but I don't have every pattern in a full sheet is what I am saying. Um, so that is going to be what we're going to play with today. Once we flip over, I will share with you the class cards um, so you can see what to expect in the class because hey I had a lot of fun doing it so yes okay sorry I've got notifications coming up on my phone and they just aren't important so oh I do also have this flower that's from a video as well hey Marjean sorry I'm just trying to get up my video here to see if I can see there you go I can now see you Miss Marjean so Let's flip around, move my water bottle, get our thinking caps on and we will see what we can create. So who, while I'm doing this, who owns the Cheerful Daisy set? 
You like I like the flower. I agree with you there, but I'm not actually sure I am in love with the panel that I created. So, but hey. Oh, you do candy. That's good. You have it, Margaret. Corinne has it. Okay, let's flip this around and see. No, I need to do this flip and then we're fine. I do generally try and do that flip midair, but today I did not need to do a titch of a zoom. Let's see how we're going there. I don't even need to close my door because David's on the phone in the lounge room. So I had to do it. Hey, Shaz, how is everything going with you, my love? Okay, so pieces, stamp set. This is the piece I need Brains Trust help with. I have post trust. Oh, good. I'm glad, Delinda. That's good. I'll just go grab the overhead light. I'm so glad you're looking after yourself, Delinda. That makes me very happy to know. Now, I just need to do a little tweak here. And I think... Oh, you had a fun day. Oh, that's right. It's... Um, Memorial, mm, what day is it? There, it's a, it's a, um, it's a public holiday in America. That's all we really need to know. And you guys have had fun. So that is good. Now, I kind of want to put these friends to the side because look, this is a really easy fix. Put that on, put on some designer series paper. We have a great card and I have three more left, which is totally fine. But this one, I think I want to play with some designer series paper. Labor Day, that's right. I knew me saying Memorial Day was the wrong thing. So this designer series paper is actually really quite fun because you have all these gorgeous daisy patterns on one side but then on the other side you have these brushed pieces so i think using this one is like maybe more maybe too much yellow but maybe this one kind of draws it in together i don't know i don't know I'm just playing here. Tell me to stop. Tell me to try something else. I am really happy for um, suggestions. I do also have three of these strips. So that's what it is on one side. But the Azure Afternoon is on the other side. So I could use those as well. Oh, it looks good. Oh, the dreaded washing when you've been away. I hate that. I'm actually avoiding the ironing at the moment from the wedding we went to the other week. But actually, I want to wear that shirt to a conference this weekend that I'm going to on Saturday. So I actually have to iron. Okay, let's just have a looky-see here. So I already have this pattern out but Delinda is liking what I've got so far I'm not sure this one's going to cut it because I don't have any um pretty peacock in there but oh, I do love that other side but I just mm, excuse me I just don't think it will go with what I've got now this is a gorgeous piece but once again, don't now. This may go. So tell me what you think of that background as a background of the card. 
Oh, did Bobby pop in? I miss Bobby as well. Oh, hey, Bobby. Sorry, missed you popping in. Oh, the shadow, it's actually a mask. There you go. I'll go up nice and close. Um, oh, I'll go down a bit. <laughs> it is a mask and it is um, grey granite. It just looks dirty. I mean, Monica and I have had this conversation um but yeah so do you like the copper clay background because these stems are copper clay so take these pieces out i do have the cut apart pieces still because i have i had multiple pieces so i could cut something out of here I'll put it all on screen. Okay, you do. Oh my God, Monica is saying I'm saving it. No, the Moody Move is not going to work. I really, I had to banish the piece. That's really how it felt. So I've already got those pieces in here. Great. I really just had to banish the piece, and everyone said, Don't throw it in the bin. So I didn't throw it in the bin, but um, yeah, it's just been kicking around on my desk, basically. So now we can make a really easy cut with this, I think. Um, I'm glad you girls like it. Um, I did, I've used the dyes, I've used blending brushes to create it. It just didn't work. So the original, or how this card ended up was like this. So this panel was actually meant to go over there. So you can get an idea of possibly why I didn't love it. Um, spatially, this flower, I wanted it to be bigger. And to be honest, I thought these stems were a little too wide for the size of the flowers so hello Lisa how are you I saw you there oh thank you Jodie and then I ended up with this one so this is one of the class cards uh, this is another and this is a fence card that I made and my other card is this one so they are our three class cards and they are available you get four videos you also get full dimensions for this card that we made three months ago so i wanted to add this in because i adore that card um so yes ten dollars and you get three exclusive videos full dimensions for the four cards and you can have a whole lot of fun with me on video so that's why you guys come here to visit me isn't it because we have fun together okay let's get cutting while i'm talking because i'm good at doing that apparently one of my superpowers okay i'm just planning which way i want to cut this so then i can use the rest i think i want to use this end because i like the sparsity if that's a word of this end hello miss cindy how are you um could someone help um on the chat um a couple of you shall understand what i'm saying could someone please give the link? Oh, listen. Oh, what's it for dinner? What can I be? What can I be uh, fantasizing about for lunch? Because it's kind of lunchtime here. Doing the training. Yes. Oh, I can't do it live because I'm at work, Corinne. Thank you, Monica. Um, I'm at work tomorrow. Hello how are you oh, we finally got you in 
That is awesome. Um, yes, I do want to do the training tomorrow, but it'll be on replay because I'm at work. And it happens to be run by Australians, which means the um, timing is fantastic for us. So, yeah. Just give the These are literally just scraps. Oh, this has to be my favourite paper. I love the Moody Mauve. Gorgeous. Okay, so I want this cut down to there. So using some scraps, using a discarded piece, we're doing well today. So, Clydeen, were you on my personal page or you just couldn't find me on Facebook? <laughs> Oh, good. I'm glad you're all doing the training. Oh, my God. I cut that. Actually, that mightn't be a bad thing. I did cut it at the, same, at the wrong size, but I think we can make that work. Just go with it. I do have these blue pieces out in case I think they'd be a good fit. Now... Um, just but just let me get them out of the way I am thinking just see I cut that one too long too don't know what I'm doing today oh you went to YouTube ah so I am on Facebook on a Tuesday and I am on YouTube on a Thursday but this video does get uploaded to YouTube there you go it isn't short it's just I cut the other one wrong and I kind of think I may want a layer of vellum as well because that's kind of my thing that's Thursdays that's exactly right Yes, so true, so true, but I actually didn't mind this one too short, but yeah, it's all good. Um, I should have a piece of thick basic white for a card front, or for a card base rather. Oh, do you think I can get my finger under that piece? That would be a no. There we go. So who is excited about tomorrow? Can anyone tell me what's happening tomorrow while I finish this up? I can't even find it. Something big is happening tomorrow. The other vellum, of course, Cindy. It just needs a little bit of lightness because the colours are the colours all work, they look great, but I just feel it needs a bit of lightness to it. Okay. So tomorrow we have new papers. Yes, we do have new papers. I will be showing the last of the two. I shared three papers yesterday, and I'm going to share the other two to, tonight. And they go live at midnight. But in addition to those new papers that are actually or were actually meant to be um, celebration items. Hmm, I'm not sure about the white. I'm really not. Hmm. I'm going to get the vellum and I'm going to keep going and I'm just going to see how we feel. The new caddy. No online. Well, technically the papers are an early release of online exclusives. Oh, yes to the white, Lisa. Okay. Yes, we have the mini catalogue launching tonight at midnight or tomorrow at midnight. And I, on my Facebook, on my YouTube live on Thursday I'm going to do a catalog work walk through because at the moment I'm not allowed to show you any of the pages 
but I can definitely show you um, on Thursday and we will do a catalog walkthrough. Yes, Corinne, one of those papers does go with the new Santas. Another one of those papers as well goes with the translucent florals that lots of demonstrators got uh, for the Creativity Now event that happened was it in July, the Creativity Now? So they were able to purchase it early. And I don't have the stamp set, but my word, that paper has me written all over it because of the colours. And i that's one of the papers I'm going to show you tonight. Um, not that I've been able to order them. I'm just going to share um, pictures of them. Uh, but yes, I definitely want to get that one well there's no black in it so i'm just gonna go with it so yeah but that santa i don't know i it's a bit too traditional for me now i never got down the vellum i got distracted surprise surprise me getting distracted on a video okay i have that piece I don't have many scrappy scrap pieces. <laughs> thinking. Just thinking. Okay, so I could put a vellum layer under that. Besides the fact that there are no straight edges on that piece. These flowers are upside down. I hate it when you look at florals and they're totally upside down so my question is do i and that piece of vellum just fell on the floor do i put it on this or do i put a strip underneath i'm just going to grab that other piece because i think it might fit perfectly under Or I could do both. Oh, Corinne, I'm going to have a closer look to see if there are, oh, no, that is way too small. Um, if there are any dies I like. So underneath on the card or underneath no vellum, Corinne. Oh, controversial. I just feel, it's feeling a bit heavy for me. And maybe that's just my, um, maybe that's just my taste with these colours. I just feel we need to add a titch of lightness to it. Um, okay, so this, I've hand cut this, so it's a bit. How are you going? So I'm just tidying up these edges. I shall find my rubbish bin. I don't need those so they can go under there. Okay, now a bit of rough measuring here. So that is seven. So if I do seven and a half. That didn't matter that that ripped at all. Seven and a half by, I'm going to say this is, oh, this is a, so that will be 10.9. So far, oh, this piece is working out to be perfect. Okay. And a whole scrap used on top of, oh, hang on, no vellum strip. I only have one. <laughs> That's okay, Cindy, no problems. On the top, on the card, well, I could do both. So let's, let's just see. I had to cut it down to see 
how it looked. I couldn't myself quite visualise how it was going to look. Hmm, see, I think I might like both. I think that looks good. That gives that completeness. I'm liking this panel more now it has that extra layer to it. I know it's layers on layers, but it does work as well. So now that I've got the vellum on there, do you think I need it on directly onto the copper clay? Give you a few minutes. That is good. Okay, Delinda, thank you. So I do have the link for... Um, payment for my class in the description on this video um, so you just go there put in your ten dollars tell me which class it is for awesome thank you Delinda um, and I will email you everything that you need for the class I think I'm just gonna have to go with them that is really crooked, guys. We're just going to try that again. Yes, she's always had a good eye. Always. And really, you guys all have good eyes. Um, I can't say I always agree with you all, but sometimes seeing things on video can be a little different to seeing them in real life. So what I want to do, so I can see my vellum, I'm going to use my silica mat for no other reason than I need colour under this to line it up properly. Because I love vellum to bits, but sometimes seeing vellum when you're creating is a pain in the behind. Okay, that is how that will stay. And this is definitely going on dimensionals. So I shall grab those out. That means I need the scissors as well. Now we have a big question of... Hmm... We have a huge question of what embellishments we're going to use. If you can hear a vacuum outside, I've got my gardener here. So, and my front door's open, but my door's closed. I think he's blowing the work, blowing all the dirt and stuff he's been cutting. Because it's... Oh, good night. Who's going to? Oh, good night, Shaz. Sorry if I missed you. Okay. Because we don't like saggy middles, we're going to have a couple in the middle. Okay, we're good there. I think I'm just going to directly attach these pieces. So using up scraps everywhere, used my scrap piece, used some scraps of designer series paper. Um, see, this area up here is possibly calling for a sentiment, but I'm not act I'm creating my card a little differently. Quite often we go top down for my cards, but because I've already created this, um, it's a little bit different. Okay, now I just have to get this as even as I possibly can. I think we're good. Okay. Oh, I love that pebbled path background on that one. So pretty. These in colours are beautiful together. Copper clay, the wild wheat... And then, well, the side we're not using. Okay. Okay, I 
think that is as good as we are going to get. Do we have a titch of glue up there? Titch of glue on here. Right. So loving this. Now let's look at some sentiments that we have in here. So the um so we have you made my day. Oops a daisy, so sorry. <laughs> that's a very good one in my household. Oops a daisy. That's what that's what quite often gets said when someone falls over. Uh, wishing you the brightest birthday. That one may be a bit big and your friendship means everything. I keep on going for the your friendship means everything. It just seems to work. And I'll show you what I mean. And this will hopefully give us an element that goes off this main panel, which I think is still needed, but so far we're making it work. So this could go on a circle, uh, one and three quarter circle punch. Let's see how that one goes. Maybe a little big. It fits, but just think it's a little too big. I'm just going to go through. No, crumb cake's not going to work, and that's going to be too big. I do this. This just happens to be edged with azure afternoon, but I can. Do we go an oval? This is just for sizing, or do you think a circle would work? I'm just going to see what I've got in here. Oh, would you believe I actually have? Well, it's not perfect, but I do have a happy birthday in the copper clay. Do we stamp something or do I use the copper clay? I do happen to have the circle size. Oh, I just found another daisy scrap piece. I do really keep my scraps. So let me check. Keep where I'm, I'm kind of keep where I'm up to. So that is, oh, that's maybe too big. Way, 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 yeah. Okay, I will put the oval in the bottom left corner. I See, okay, the only reason I'm thinking about up there is because it is so empty. Um, so, yeah. That's why I'm thinking of up there. But do, 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 do. I don't think there's much else. Oh, a band aid. Always need a band aid in the craft room. Never know when you're going to get a nasty paper cut. Copper clay. Okay. Stamp directly on the panel. Now, Lisa, I would agree with you if I didn't already have dimensionals on the back. Okay, so we're popping that one away. Do have this came from a Christmas card. It was an extra. Put the one and three quarter punch back. We worked out that was way too big for what we wanted. Now, I am thinking possibly of rolling this in some pebbled path just to give it a bit of definition to the background. Yeah, I know, Lisa, I'm with you, I'm with you. But this happy birthday looks great. And even though it's a bit offset, it gives me room to put some embellishments. And this happy birthday, I want to say, is possibly from looks like it's from pansy patch so 
That's the beautiful happy birthday in pansy patch. It has so many lovely sentiments, this one. Okay, and just roll through. Just get my edge there. And I've got one little point missing there. So you can see just by edging it just gives a definition without adding any more sizing to yes yes exactly Delinda exactly yep that's where what I was going to say but I was reading comments at the same time so yes okay so and if I added let me just grab the double opal if I added the layering piece, I think it would take away from the deckled rectangle edge that I've already used for the background of that piece. So, yeah. I've thought about all these things in my head. Do trust me that even though I may not verbalise them, I do think about them. So, yes. Let's... Just seeing if I have missed any comments or questions. Cannot believe Shaz is always up at this time. She is a trooper. I think I was still up at 1.30, but normally not at 3.30. And saying I was awake doesn't mean I was actually talking. I was just awake okay this can confidently go down now i've sat with it for long enough i've looked at it i'm happy with it and it is finally being used i am actually impressed quite a few of you here may have seen my tantrum with this card it was a oh, it was a card and I'm just glad I got it made and I was actually happy with the final incarnation of that card. Do you know what? I just have some sticky uppy edges from cutting. So I cut it from the other side and I just want to rub my bone folder. You can't see these. But sometimes your trimmer can leave a little edge that just angles up. And if you just go over with the side of your bone folder, it does just flatten them down. Okay, card is opening the correct way. That is a good thing to check. That's, I think, as close as we're going to get. Pop that down. And pop this down. And then we will play with some sentiments. I love being able to see what we can do. And I like the connection here so i've connected with this flower as well as going across all the layers of the card so we've got the connection and this now stops your eye before you look at that mask in the background so that mask in the background does give a bit of a smoky look but I think you see this more now and your attention isn't grabbed by the background. So we have, so we have, these are the ones that actually go with the suite or the collection. These are the solid gems. So you've got copper clay, boho blue, which I don't think goes with this, or lemon lolly, but I don't know if copper clay is possibly a little too much or we have and these are the in color dots so these have a bit of a halo to them and I even thought maybe the 
Well, see, the copper clay in this, even though they're the same colour, I'll grab both of them out, they give a totally different look. So I'm just going to pull this off very carefully. So you can just see that this one gives more of a warm look where you've got the light. Oh, I'm on a different angle to you. So I'm going to bring this up to you. So hopefully you can see the light in these. Yes, now you can see the light in these copper clay ones. And here the copper clay ones are like totally solid. So you're trying... Hello, Miss Maureen. Um, so what I want to hear is are we going solid or are we going the in colour ones? Just while I clean up a little bit. Or are we doing something completely different? Kind of got these holographic -y ones as well. So I will watch your comments as I just give a little flick through. Oh, now I do have my brush brass butterflies. They are always an option with a flower card. Cannot believe it's taken me this long to make this card. But that's okay. It's all good. I'm not sure anything else is going to go. The in colour. The glossy ones. Okay, no problem. So we put the solid ones away. That's easy. Just stick them back on here and pop them in their container. And then back in here. Oh. so lovely both my children are at school today it's very very weird genius is a slow process i wouldn't call it genius miss cindy but thank you um yes they're having a concert tonight and lavender has been asked to help with the lighting so Having to say, oh, it's going to be really weird going back to school. Oh, you're saying the butterfly, Delinda. I'll see what anyone else says because there's no reason I can't just add a butterfly. Oh, do you think I can grab this? Yeah, well, that just fell there. Right here. So sometimes with these ones in particular, I just like to bend the acetate and it does make the gems a little bit easier to take off the sheet. Look, I'm even going to use a little one while we're here. Maybe I'm not going to use a little one, but I really would like to. See, if I use two up there, which actually works really nicely, I do need to use a third one down here. But the matter is where. Just going to pick this up a little bit better. So I do like a little cluster. I suppose it doesn't matter that I go over the stem. Are we done? I think we're done. Oh, 
I think we are done, done, done. And it's actually really nice because we've used the copper clay three times. So we've used the designer series paper four times, designer series paper background in the stamp or in the ink, in the cardstock, and then in the embellishment. Sorry, Jody, I or can I change it? I can trial it because I'm sure I'm not going to ruin anything. No. I like it more in a cluster than I do in a line. But that's okay. Maybe. Because that one really did just drop. Then that's more in a line. Come on. Yeah, I think that's a little better just moving that big one. So that is the card we've made today. Do we try to make this one? Because I've already got the two pieces. Not that they originally meant to go with each other, but let's go with it. I'm just going to say I'm making this second card because, hey, I can. And then I know I've still got this little red friend here. Okay, they can go off to the side. Already got the sentiment, so don't have to worry about that. So we've used Moody Mauve Copper Clay Wild Wheat. Um, and I assume we're using Pebbled Path here, possibly Basic Grey. But this, this flower is from... Hmm, let me see if I can very quickly find the card, which... I'm actually having troubles doing. Wow. I know it's a portrait card. Nope. Aha, just found it. Okay, so this flower came from this card, which we made in a video. This was my very, very first play with the set. Night, Miss Cindy. Sweet dreams. Oh, you mean the sentiment and... Well, I've technically... Oh, I've used the leaves. But, yeah, it's got such cute sentiments in it. I love it. Sweet, sweet dreams. My Cindy. I know late at night I just fade as well so you certainly aren't the only one that suffers <laughs> okay where's my rubbish bin it is here and now to have it I have emptied it after my project it's just a habit that I clean up after each project okay loving that Got a few things piled up over here that I shall just move because I'm liking that I'm going to be putting this on maybe some designer series paper. What do you think? Do I keep it nice and clean or I could just put it out there that these might actually work too distracting just put my gel on the way Oh, the daisy stamp and the stems, right. Just want to choose, like, 
something quite light, maybe even like, I love the two-tone of that. It's so dramatic. Or so I'm going to give you three choices. We're going to have the pretty peacock, the strips, or the moody mauve. And I am going to continue. I think that one is. Yeah, so that's, there are three choices. You like the blue strips. Oh, Delinda's in thinking mode. I'd love to know where my scrap container is. Unless it's, no, it's not under there. It must be on the desk. I had a whole, it should be in with the DSP. I had a whole container with the scrap. Oh, it's standing up back here. I found it. Don't worry. Moody. And I can also use this scrap of Moody. Actually, the scrap of Moody really doesn't do anything to it at all. Hmm, how interesting. Now, I didn't mean to just leave it there. Sorry, got that one. That one is dramatic. I like the dramaticness of that one. And a couple of you are liking the strips. Okay, so let's have a look. Uh, I think Moody Mauve wins big time. So Corinne changed her mind from the blue strips to the Moody Mauve. Okay, no problems. We can deal with that. Okay. The only thing that kind of breaks uh, is we're cutting apart a cut apart, but that's okay. It's okay. I've got another full one, and I did have lots of fun with these. So my assumption now is that this piece is going to need some support with some stuff so it's going to need something on it or maybe we just keep it exactly how it is or do you know what i could do i could emboss the designer series paper because we tried that a couple of Use a yellow stripe cut apart. I could, I could. Yellow stripe cut apart. Uh -huh. Would you believe I still have that whole piece? Yellow stripe cut apart. Ah, the yellow stripe cut apart. Okay, I'm with you, Miss D. Let's cut it out and see. Because that is going to give it a beautiful pop. Okay. See, this piece is still so useful. Just using my best guesstimates here. Oh, my word. And then that will be a great strip as well. Oh my god, that never happens for me. How perfect that gets. 
ribbon across the middle but under the flower yes 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 that will also look really really nice oh miss d yes that does give quite a nice little pop so nice and fresh so ribbon wise i have my thick or we so i have this one or i can delve into some new ribbon and see what i have um i don't think sparkle ribbon's quite going to work just going to grab this more natural ribbon or i can use some twine this will also work so this is even thicker than the herringbone ribbon that i've got out already but it may just give some nice grounding and what I might do if we use that, or I can use some white twine as well. So we do have white twine. Okay, that is open. If it's open, it's more likely to be used, isn't it? So herringbone away. Get this one down. Oh, more rubbish. are we thinking everyone has gone quiet which isn't helpful guys not helpful or i've just got my white twine so the white ribbon or white twine lace so just go across with nothing else because i don't think it needs anything else uh maybe a few a few dotty dots too dark okay here they come now white ribbon not dark ribbon okay but isn't this a gorgeous ribbon it's so pretty white ribbon okay done 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 but this is new ribbon that is released tomorrow so you've got a nice sneak peek there that's back in there back in the basket so do I go all the way just under there or do I go all the way under everything? I'm thinking possibly all the way under everything. Although I still, I still want to emboss this piece. However much... You girls are yelling at me to keep it simple, I know, but I have troubles keeping things simple at times. Just going to cut this. There we go. Under all, yeah, I'm with you too, Jodie. With you too. Okay, so dimensionals on here and onto our cut apart piece really great that we're using the one designer series paper and getting to completely emboss no ribbon okay i'm going to get this piece done and i'm going to look through my embossing folders because we've already done all the hard, or I've already done all the hard work with the stamping. So this is a good thing about um, Use It Up. Cards, you've half time, you've already got the stamping done. Did I stamp anything? No, but I did use the ink just around the sentiment. So, do you have an embossing folder in mind, Mr. Linda? We've got painted textures would work. I think vintage tile would be a little bit too... A distressed tile, sorry, would be just a little bit too heavy. Let 
Okay, it's not perfect, but it's on. Okay, that makes everything a little better to look at. Okay, so I've got painted tile. Oh, I could use the raindrops. So that's a little bit sparser of polka dots, I think, will be too much. And I use polka dots on the original incarnation of this card. I've got the cross hatch. And uh, see, I do have other stripes, but they're only in the mini. So I've got the splatters and the stripes. Raindrops. Okay, Miss D, you're on. Now, let's see if I remember, because all of these other ones are 3D embossing folders. This is not a 3D embossing folder. <laughs> and I almost forgot how to use one last time. Okay. need my big machine and I think I just need my normal plates without the die cutting plate so I will consult my base plate because that tells me what I need to use so I definitely will need my two clear plates but I won't need plate two because this is our die cutting plate. So uh, we're using standard embossing folders. You use one, three, and three. So one, three, paper, and die with the fold going in and a three on top. Hold on. Feels like enough pressure. Crank it through. Sorry, Corinne, you were just a little bit late there. I'll just pop all this away. And then, oh, apparently the scammers love us today. Another phone call on our home phone. I don't know why we still have a home phone. So you can see that's a little bit of texture without being too much. So, oh, I really like that. Now, where did my ribbon go? I still would love to use the ribbon. That just gives it a visual break. See, scammers, they didn't want to talk to me anyway. So that and that. So you see it, it's just a little bit and you can still see all the painted texture. I am just going to pop it further up so you can see. You can get the effect anyway. And I'm just going to get a basic white thick card base so I'm just going to use I'm going to make this a top folding card because I've got the card base here I might as well use it that's pretty good now if you're my bone folder did I put you back no which means you're buried somewhere in here pushed all the way ah you like that i'm glad you like that yeah i haven't used that embossing folder much but it just works and i can use it drop side down or drop side up it really truly doesn't matter um and we've got to adhere our ribbon so just got to be a little bit careful here because I don't want to crush our embossing. So 
I'm just going to give, and we don't actually need to put a lot of pressure on when we are adding our stamp and seal. It does not need a lot at all. So now we pray we get this straight. Because I can see it's pretty straight with the other side, I'm fairly happy. Don't tip over your scrap box, Ellen, because that would be silly. Now, I can check with my T-square ruler. Helps if I've got it the right way. Woohoo! Go us! That's like pretty, get it off that, then it's going to slide and do what we want, isn't it? I wish I had a smaller T-square ruler. Look, I cannot complain about how close we got that. But, mm, spots up, spots down. Hard decision. I think I'm just going to make them look like raindrops because I like that. And I'm going to put the glue directly onto the card base because I know where it's going to go. And I think we're going to go into the stash of the Moody Mauve. I left it going for too long. I left it open. Because we're also right, we're getting close to the end of this glue. So um, I need to leave it open. These are down the right way. Now this may not give me wiggle room because I do have the stamp and seal just there. But there we go. Okay, that is down. And I think I'm going to dimensional this as well. So double, look, we're going to have three layers of dimension. So this may not be a card you would want to send in the mail, but it's going to look amazing with all the dimension. <laughs> okay. And the dimension often is what makes a card. If you put things super flat against each other, you go, no, not really. But when you can get a shadow or a, it's almost like a resting place, a shadow in between, things just sometimes work perfectly. Okay, bring this over. So you girls are going to have to keep an eye out on your um, email boxes if you subscribe to my newsletter because there's going to be two going out in the next 24 hours. There will be one this afternoon about um, my, my class, which is my Cheerful Daisies class. And this video will go in that playlist. And there is going to be another one about all the new things that are happening tomorrow. So we've got the new paper. We've got the new catalogue. I will be telling you, oh my God, that is so crooked. On, I just want to pop this one corner right and then I want to twist perfect yep that's good 
Now, does it really need any more embellishment? No, but are we going to anyway? Uh, yes, because that's how we roll. Now, I think I've hoarded these Moody Mo ones, but I think, or do we go? No, we've got quite a bit of yellow, but then we've got quite a bit of Moody Mo. Let's just see. This one. Just here. I'm thinking a big one, maybe just up there. Okay, I'm not really sure about this one truly. I haven't pushed them down so they can definitely still be moved around which is good that's a bit better and what i think possibly oh, this one doesn't want to come up is just one up there perfect done Done, done, done. You love it with bling. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Ingrid. Sorry I didn't see you pop in. Thanks for joining. So we've actually used the same bling on both of these. We've used the dies. Well, I've previously used the dies, but we have used the pretty much the whole collection. So these are the two cards. I turned what I thought was an ugly panel into something that I actually like. So you can get a closer look at that using deckled rectangles, using the Cheerful Daisies dies and the Fresh as a Daisy designer series paper. And the sentiment for this one comes from Pansy Patch that came out of my Use It Up box. This one we're using Fresh as a Daisy paper again. We used the same pack of paper, the same piece of paper. Um, this is the contour dies, and we've used previously stamped uh, panels with the cheerful daisies, and we've used exactly the same sentiment. So these are the in color dots. And I did add in a little bit texture with the raindrops embossing folder and the herringbone ribbon. So thank you all so much for joining me. I will share with you the bundle that I have based my class on. And as I say, the, the details, so these are, these are the dies had lots of fun so I've used this one I've used lots of the little ones and the outlines and the leaves so it's a whole lot of fun this set and if you do a search on my um on my blog or on my youtube channel for cheerful um you will see all the videos i've done using these products so i do hope um you can purchase my class which is three exclusive videos and another video which i have done the dimensions for i will share all those cards again so this is video number four so you get the dimensions for that as well as the link to the video this is card number three. This is card number one, a fence card. And this is card number two. 
So they are the cards in my class and just know there is a whole lot more inspiration. I have done so many cards with these products. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you can join me on Thursday with your mini catalogue so we can have a walkthrough so I can tell you what I like why I possibly didn't buy some products in there because there is more that I like but I'm not buying them all I, I can't have them all so I would love to talk to you about the hows the whys the what I haves and uh, what our next class will be because I decided on that this morning. Oh, you love number one, the best blender. Awesome. I'm so glad I turned something that I didn't love into something that you really love. I'm very happy with it. But number two has it for me, I think, because I love Moody Mauve so much. So I will see you over on YouTube, 12 noon. Um, so same time as I went live here, but over on YouTube. And I will be advertising that in my newsletter. And um, it will be on all my socials um, that you can find me over there. So have a wonderful, wonderful couple of days. And I will catch you soon. Bye.